welcome back to my channel today i am back with one interesting video where we will try to understand and learn some cool tricks using which we can troubleshoot our pega user interface our applications which use the pegas user interface we will be understanding some tricks which will help our work get easier by applying these principles to our application development process well as part of this video we'll be understanding how exactly we can look at the source of any page which gets generated on the pega applications user interface how do we inspect elements this is one of the beautiful features which we will see using chrome's developer tools is something we'll understand how do we unhash a password using these tools is also something we'll be seeing and of course live ui which is pega's very own ui debugging tool we'll be using all these and understanding how exactly this will help us with debugging with no further delay let's jump on to our pega console and understand what exactly does this debugging mean to us well with no further delay let's try to understand these tricks one by one the first trick i want to show you is the inspect element the inspect element trick is quite straightforward and really easy so let us see what exactly does it help us with the first thing i would need for that is a browser a browser is very essential for me to launch my pega application i'm using chrome browser here let us say I want to modify my application skin and I would do that by clicking on the application drop down click on skin and it loads you the corresponding skin. Let us say I want to add a mix in and I want to add let us say a background color which I have already done for all the labels I want to add a background color let us say it is labels here and I want to add a custom background color as green for all the labels which are there as part of this application so this would look something similar to this way right perfect so now that i have done this change let us see let's try to create a case and see if this is reflecting on my new cases to do that i can launch the new the user portal by clicking here and click on user portal and this should launch me a user portal let me click here So a user portal is launched. Now let us try to create a use case. For example, let us try to create a case. Let me click on create here. And let us say, I want to create an assign request. So we see there is a difference here. I have told across my skin in the mix sense that every label should have a background as green however i see that yellow is getting loaded this is where i introduce my first trick which is inspect element how exactly it can help us in debugging a user interface just right click on that particular element where you see that issue and click on inspect this should load you the element from where it is getting loaded for example this particular element when i inspected it loaded me that it is being rendered in a with the background color as yellow and i see that it is forced as important the first thing you should do to understand how exactly this is happening is go to the computer tab from the console as soon as you click on inspect element click on computer tab under the elements and this should show you how exactly it is getting loaded if you click on the background color if you see it was green but it is being overridden by something what is that which is overriding this something which is overriding this is this particular line here it was green but then it was overridden by yellow how is that happening if you see the harness here the first line here the harness here is causing that what is this harness this is the py create harness if you see here the harness which is causing that is py create harness 
the first line if you see if you keep reading it in the end before the numbering starts you will see that there is a harness mentioned pc harness v2 underscore py create harness that is what is causing this so let's try to see what is this harness which is causing that to do that now i'll be introducing the next debugging tool which is my live ui which pega provides right click on this thing and see what section is getting loaded as part of it let me close this thing let's come back there so if you see using live ui you can navigate through all the controls which are here but you won't be able to find what exactly is causing this particular yellow color to appear for example let us say here i want to see what section is loading this i will click on this up arrow and i'll see that py enter case details is responsible for that let me open this and it should open in the developer studio if you see here it is showing green however on the ui when we tried creating case it is showing as yellow there is no specific configuration which we have done here to force that in to appear in green all that we have done is at the skin level in the mixin see in the presentation tab also i don't have but it is rendering as yellow so to understand that we saw that the particular let me turn off this live ui when I inspected that element, I saw that there was a harness which was forcing this. Right click on the inspect element, come to computed tab and you will see that there is the first line here which is getting enforced by a harness which is py create harness. How do I access that? Let us see this py create harness which is overriding these two green colors and it is bringing the yellow from it from that harness. So to do that, I can of course use the live UI like we access the section. We can use the live UI to see what is that harness. Click on live UI and click on this. Just see where is the harness. See section, 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 section. This is the harness which is causing that color to appear. Let me open this harness. Just click on that lens and then it should open the harness here. Once you come to the harness, something you will see is scripts and styles tab. If you see, there is a custom styles JavaScript file which is causing, which is having a custom script. Let us see what is that custom script. I opened it here. And if you see, this custom styles.jss has a background color yellow which is being enforced into that particular user interface because of which yellow is getting overridden and is appearing here this is the beauty of inspect element inspect element can be used on any attribute you can right click and figure out where exactly why and which component is getting loaded on the user interface and this gets load loaded from the developer tools the developer tools are something which comes as part of the browser which is free you can access it from the three dots you can go here click on more tools and click on developer tools and you will see that here the developer tools gets loaded but one easy way i feel is whatever element you have issue with you can just let me turn off the live ui right click here and inspect and this will help you understand where exactly it is once you go there on the element click on computed tab so you can navigate to the issue wherever it is this is we saw here two tools one is inspect element which is very beautiful in understanding where exactly a issue is coming from and how exactly you can drill down and go to that particular space and figure out what is causing that and to to solve this all i have to do is remove that script from the uh, from the harness and it should show me the green color perfect and the other tool we saw was live ui how exactly we can use live ui to navigate around the another tool which we also spoke about is the view source view source is also something every your user interface screen which gets loaded has a view source how can i access it just right click on this and click on view page source this helps me in accessing the entire source which is it is a html file with javascript functions which are necessary to load this entire user interface that's what this is all about and this can help you understand how exactly the what all JSS are, JS, JavaScript files are needed to 
generate that particular UI. These are some three tools. Another tool which I have seen, which is very effective and useful is, for example, you're using, we use a lot of key store files and a lot of other files where we use, we need passwords. And so it happens that we tend to forget them or we don't, we don't have them handy. So we can also use this inspect element tool to ha unhash a password. Let us say pega aates. I'm just accessing a key store file. Let's open this. And I do have a key store password, but I don't know what this password is. So all I can do is I can right click on this thing and inspect element. And all I have to do is figure out from where it is getting loaded. It's taking some time, that's fine. It got loaded and this is, where is this element? All I have to do is just click on this selector, select this element. It would be loaded here. And see, this is that element which has been loaded. How do I know that? I can just use this selector file and I'll be here. See, it is pointing me to that. Instead of this password, just say text, replace this password with text or you can also do it here. See, here, mark it as text, hit enter and you can get the password for that Java, uh, for that key store file. This way, for example, for some environments, if you have forgotten password, you have saved the password, but you have forgotten, you can use this element on the login screen and you can access that particular password. This is one easy way using inspect element. You can unhash password. You could inspect the element and figure out where exactly the call hierarchy takes for any element. And also live UI is something which we saw. We also understood what is view page source all about. This was one small quick video to help you understand what all tools are available in market, which you can freely use to debug your Pega user interface. As part of this video, we understood what is inspect element, how exactly inspect element beautifully helps us in debugging the user interface. We saw, we saw how source view helps us see the entire code which gets generated for any user interface. Also how we can unhash passwords along with Pegas live UI. So all these are free tools which you can utilize to strengthen your understanding with Pegai's user interface and of course fix a lot of issues with that which are there as part of user interface. If you like this video, I would say I would strongly recommend subscribing to our channel, share this and also drop us a comment. And if you want to get started with Pega and understand Pega in depth, I would say you should sign up to our WhatsApp group where we discuss a lot about Pega and also take up this Pega course with us so that we can help you understand this better. With this said, I would be signing off and let us catch up in the next lecture. Please click on the links in the description to get access to our content.